Hello everyone, something rather sticky here today and I am back to do yet another reaction to MLP this time, Season 9, Episode 22. So, without further ado, let's jump on in, in 3, 2, 1, and go. I can. <clears throat> I mean, you just told me, but... Actually, that reminds me. I should probably get some food at some point. Oh God! Is that me? Right. Weeks of planning has all come down to this. All we have to do now is wait for a chaperone to get here. Who? Who is it? <laughs> who? I mean, you do. You do have one, right? I thought you were gonna ask Applejack. I don't suppose you asked Rarity. Oh no. We spent all this time planning a trip, and none of us asked any pony to take us. In our I defense, mean, can't can't you go on your own? The other part of the trip was planned really well. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's it's a fair, but does it require adult supervision? Um, maybe? I don't know. I mean, when we used to have the uh, carnivals around where I used to live a long time ago, I'm not sure if they're still even going, um, I was able to go on my own, and I was a, 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 a young filly, that's the wrong term. Um, I, I was a kid, so, I mean, I wasn't on cert loud certain rides, but, <laughs> you know. go to Appaloosa. I promised to deliver a new design to Fancy Pants for his monocle. I suppose it makes sense they have to go on a train though, don't they? So Can you finish it tomorrow? Get off my hind leg. But you learn as you get older how important it is to keep your promises, especially when running a business. I've just seen the title of this episode. What? No more true word is spoken. Without accompaniment, you could end up in the wrong place entirely. Why don't you see if Rainbow Dash is free? How do you end up in the Sorry, wrong place? But I just heard from Spitfire that a whole bunch of storm clouds got loose from the cloud factory. And she needs every Wonderbolt to help bust them. Aw, oh, come on, Rainbow Dash. They won't need <laughs> I just love the angles here. <laughs> the conversation angles. Apparently we're too young to go along. Well, duh. Young ponies like you could get lost and never find your way back. But I still it's can't go. Train ride, I believe, in a straight line, as far as I know. <laughs> What's the chances that every pony's busy? I wish I could, Sugar Cube, but Big Mac's not feeling well today. Oh. But Big Mac's old enough to take care of himself. Not when he's ill. Have so much fun together. Sometimes taking care of some pony is more important than having fun. True. Speaking of which, <laughs> that's just cruel. Think about trying to go without a grown pony there to take care of you. You could end up in hot water or worse. We know what, what's worse than hot water. The fair could be over before we find some cold tea. To take us. But then hmm. we thought of you, since the fair will be full of all sorts of animals and creatures. Fluttershy. I'm sorry, but Twilight has an important magical research project, and she's asking. So that leaves help. Pinkie Pie or Twilight's busy too. Yeah, Pinkie Pie or um. Star Swirl sent me this enchanted oh, flower. Pinkie Pie. <clears throat> Isn't doing well. If I figure out its magical properties, maybe we can save it. So that's a no one going with us to the fair. What is it with that face? Like, come on, <laughs> animators. Oh, that <laughs> face though. Oh, definitely. You could take the wrong train or miss your stop. Or get lost in a strange town and end up in a dangerous situation with no pony to help you. We know. <sighs> I know it's hard, but sometimes you just can't do what you want. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to go to the fair, you could. Sure, grown-ups can do a lot of things that foals can't. But there's plenty <sighs> foals. That can't do either. <clears throat> like right now, I can't find a single reference to this flower. None of the birds or insects I talk to have heard of it either. I wonder if there's anything in Shadetail Evergreen's Tome of Flora and Fauna. 
That book's uh, pretty out of date, but it yeah. might be worth a try. I think there's a copy in the library filed under discontinued but still potentially useful ancient texts. That's a long title for a uh, 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 chance of practical applications. Yeah, I was gonna say that that's a long title for a, a book category. Thing we're gonna see today. Unless you can't watch Twilight struggle to remember how she organized. Can you books. stop pouting, please? It doesn't look right. <laughs> Pinkie Pie. I wish we didn't have to wait to grow up. Or maybe I missed something. I wish it would happen all at once. Then we know everything we need to get to the fair and back with no problem. Why is that flower glowing? As old as our sisters. Then no pony could tell us what to do, and we'd be able to take care of ourselves. Hey, Sweetie Belle, why is your face all lit up? Uh, hello. Oh God, who's that? Run. No, don't. This isn't Scooby-Doo. Don't investigate. Run away. Move. Ah. They've been swallowed. What's that? What's happening? Hello? What's this? Ah! They just sunk in what I'm looking at. Are they grown up? You're sh shitting me. I, um, I would be more concerned with you've just grown up. I hope you brought the tickets. We've got to hurry if we're going to make the train. I think we'll be fine. Uh, I am. Um, I, 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 um, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, goodbye. End of the reaction here. No, I'm not. What the? <sighs> he has a really boring job. I'm just going to say here and now. We made it. Of course we did. We're grown up ponies now. Come on, we late. Can do anything. And all those worries Twilight and the others had don't apply anymore because we're big. Yeah, and being an adult comes with... Really? It comes with other duties, trust me. It's like they've grown up, but their faces haven't. I'm dumb. I was a determined baby. Ah, oh, God. Hello, world. I don't think that's how growing up works, but sure. Okay. <laughs> like, did, did no one, like, question as to why they'd grown up? Like, did no one notice? I guess not. That was a bit of, um, fall breaking. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not really understanding how growing up works. Not just about size. It's about experience and bills and more bills and getting a job. Seriously, if if there's anyone who's still at school, stay there. Best years of your life. Just saying. Uh. Did you? I ate too many snacks. Yeah, did you say Appaloosa? This doesn't look like Appaloosa. Yeah, I was gonna say. Because it isn't. Um. You all heard that, right? Yeah. Uh, hello? Do you think we got on the wrong train? 
I thought trains just took you where you wanted to go. Who <laughs> <laughs> the hell are you? I don't mean to laugh, but you three must not travel much. Right. This is Hayseed Junction. The train to Appaloosa isn't for a few hours. Or you could set off on hoof. It's treacherous and <laughs> confusing. Do you think this guy's ever got laid? Or timid. Yeah, but you three are grown-ups. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'll write down some directions. Yeah. Maybe we should wait for the train. And miss the fair? We already ended up in the wrong place, which is exactly what we were warned about. How did you... Did hang on. The directions? How did you... How did you not know? Like, you know what Appaloosa we looks like. come all this way for nothing. Besides, I've been through a swamp... This, this is a very interesting camera angle, by the way. Grown-ups always know the way. Because being big is all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh god. Oh, he does. <laughs> he's got an asthma pump. Okay. I've got kind of a throat thing. Are you really gonna go through here? I wanna know how detailed those instructions were. Turn the left at the next uh, strange looking object. Oh, creature. God damn. Oh, oh, God. That, oh, that looks painful. Ow. Uh, keep moving. Sweetie Belle, are you Grown up. <laughs> Grown up Scootaloo. I, I'm pretty sure rule 34 applies here. Oh, God. Well done. Head back to the station. I'm not sure we can. I think we're lost. Just like Twilight and the others said. Well, where were you when I was feeding and caring for him? Wait, what? Oh, hello. Ah, wild swamp ponies. <laughs> what are wild swamp ponies? We're just grown ups. And are you? We're definitely not lost. I would say you're more okay. teenage like versions. If you're not from around here. I'm Spur, and this is Biscuit. I'm Spur and Biscuit. To you, but your your QT marks do you justice. Just <laughs> hey, Spur and a Biscuit. Where we're going. <laughs> no, it isn't. Uh, which is it? Biscuit thinks he can just take Bluffy here to the fair. Oh. Why not? It's just up the road, and Bluffy's my pet too. Since when? Bluffy's never even seen a crowd, which you'd know if you ever took care of him. Sorry, I just uh, sorry, I just realised how quiet I was. I was just interested into the scene. <laughs> what is the creature? He seems okay meeting us. See, they're grown ups and they get it. Bluffy should totally come to the fair with me, right? Y'all don't really think that, do ya? Ah. Um, hold on. Us grown ups need to confirm. Us grown ups said no one ever. <laughs> they go to the fair, we can tag along. And Spur probably should cheer Bluffy. I mean, it's a. What is it with this camera say, angle? Right? Come on. I mean, it's, it's very good. Grown up ponies, we think you should share Bluffy and let Biscuit take him to the fair. That is some quality grown up advice. But Bluffy's never been around anything that exciting. What if something goes wrong? We're headed to the fair too. Since we're such great investors. Ow! Oh God, my well. arm just clicked. I'm sure you've picked that up on mic. Ow! Oh, I'm falling apart, guys and girls. Don't worry about me. Oh, some glue round here. I'll have to put myself back together. Oh. Oh, hello. Um, I can't remember his name. I remember the episode. Oh god. Well my goodness, what an interesting critter. You should enter in What an interesting critter. Ooh. Animals showcase. <clears throat> That's exactly what we should do. That seems like a bad idea. 
what do you grown-ups think? What is that? Why does Biscuit remind me of... Is it... Uh, the, what's his name? Blank... Slate? Blank check? Something? The, the other reactor? Forgive me if you are watching this, my, my good sir. But it slightly looks like his OC. Oh, hello. Uh, hello, Ram Bum Bum. No. Ah. What happened to being able to ask your advice? You ran off the second we got here. Right. Where's Biscuit and Bluffy? That's why I came to find you. <laughs> to the fair, but it's another to stick him in a showcase. Right. What's the big deal? You're supposed to be sharing him. Yeah, I'm with Biscuit. The showcase looks like fun. Sorry if I think taking care of Bluffy is It's interesting to see, fun. sorry, it's interesting to see kids as grown-ups trying to make grown-up decisions, but out. then they're not, it's not working. That looks strangely cute and I'm scared. Uh, <clears throat> Are you sure you're not just upset you have to share him? What if you took a little break? You mean, like, leave? If sharing him is too hard, that might be the best thing. Take our word for it. Uh, yeah, grown -ups. As grown-up? God, stop. Please. I don't know what's first so worried about. Bluffy and Biscuit are having fun. Yeah. What could go wrong? Yeah. Wait for it. No, that's too cute. That's a trap. I don't trust it. I no. I don't trust it. No. Oh god. What's happening? Ah. Oh my god. It's turned into a megazoid. Me and my big grown up mouth. You're right. <laughs> what the flump is that? I told you it was too good to be true. Let's say Tinky Winky on speed. Oh god. It's like the Wicked Witch of the West. I don't think they're in Kansas anymore, people. Oh god. <laughs> grown ups, do something. <laughs> uh, just probably don't want to get that close. What was the point in that? You just. Uh. Is there magic grown up as well, or is it just kids' magic? <clears throat> I hope you're right about the girls coming here. Well, once we read Shadetail Evergreen's warning that the flower <laughs> was delicious, it wasn't a stretch to think they wished themselves to the fair. It's or to become happened. adults. Or maybe since we told them they were too young to come, they wished to become grown ups, then came here and caused some kind of trouble that led to a town wide panic. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, or that. Twilight, Fluttershy! Oh, thank goodness. I know you're not going <laughs> to believe it, but it's me. I have a blue. Yeah, we know and it's you. Blue. We kind of got turned into grown ups. And we thought we could take the train here since we were old enough, but we ended up in the wrong place just like you said we would and got lost just like you said we would. Then we yeah. got these. Okay, stop talking. Please. Advice, Please stop, stop talking. Uh, yeah, we. <laughs> Yeah, they just, they know. <laughs> Goodness, a whirling mountain. They are very rare. They're just the cutest little things when they're not excited. Well, you better do something. How do we calm them down? When they're young, a mountain forms a tight bond with its caretaker. They're the only ones who can get them to stop spinning. Are you the caretaker? You're not the caretaker. Really yeah, I didn't we think he was. You will go look for a oh, it's a her? Okay. <clears throat> well, that's an interesting creature. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry, Spur. You knew what was best for him all along. And even though we seem like grown ups, you were way more responsible than us. See? What do you mean, seem like grown -ups? Experience. Uh, to explain right now we have to stop this and you're the only one who can do it oh i need to straighten up there we go 
He mostly just needs to see you. <clears throat> hey there, Bluffy Boo. <laughs> Bluffy Boo. It's okay. Why would you have that as a pet? I'm just How saying. <laughs> After years of experience with animals, exactly. I picked up a few things. Experience. Well, one thing's for sure. Fluffy Please let them change back to like kids in front of them too. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. <laughs> we all are. <clears throat> I guess grown-ups aren't always perfect. They sure aren't. But young foals pretending to be grown-ups are even less so. <laughs> what do you mean? There's only one petal left. But I think the three of you know what to wish for. And I'm pretty sure Star Swirl won't mind. Uh huh. We Come on. We were foals again. Again. That is some really potent magic. I'm just saying, by the way. Hold on. You three are actually younger than us? <laughs> right. Well, turned us into grown ups, so we figured we could do whatever we wanted, but I guess that's not exactly true. No. We did everything real grown-ups told us not to and caused all kinds of trouble. And things could have been a lot worse. I guess we were pretty selfish. I'm glad you learned something. That's what growing up is. Which is why you probably shouldn't skip any of it. Right. <laughs> we didn't make the best impression. To be fair, I wouldn't sure want would to, like to grow up, play... I mean, I am growing up, but I wish I, okay. I enjoyed I'm some younger years. I mean, I'm not that old. I'm... but... Okay. Um, I'm going to end it there. Okay, that was an interesting episode. Um, I want to touch briefly on that flower. That is some potent magic, by the way. Can we just, like, address that? Um, like, it grants you any wish, pretty much. Like, it can even, like, turn you younger or older. Like, damn. Can you imagine what, like, sort of powers you'd get if, you, if that got into the wrong hands? God damn. Anyway, until the next episode, guys and girls, I will see you later. Ciao.